nearly 24 hours ago, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, reacted to the ban of open grazing in the south and he made it clear that no governor in Nigeria has the right to take away the freedom or freedom and liberty of individuals to move around. He also said that the ban on open grazing is just like northern governors coming together to ban spare part trading in the northern region. Aisha Yusufu has now reacted to what AGF Malami said, and she made it clear that an attorney general of the Federation ought not to have said those words. In the video that she posted, the activists said that the southern governors did not burn the headers' cows. They only took a decision, but northern governors are destroying alcohol in the north, and the AGF has never said anything about it. She also made it clear that Malami compared the banning of open grazing to the banning of spare parts trading in the north, which is yet to happen, adding that if northern governors ban spare parts trading, southern governors should also ban those building the change in the south in our ways. Hmm. There's too much disrespect in this country. There's so much arrogance, and some people think they are more Nigerian than some other Nigerians. Imagine the AGF of the Federation Malami saying that, saying what he said on national TV. The arrogance in which they feel that the southern governors do not have the right to declare certain things in their own state, but northern governors have the rights. On channel on national television, Malam said that the southern governors do not have the right to stop open grazing. The southern governors did, didn't burn or destroy cows, but the northern governors are destroying alcohol in the north, and the AGF has said nothing about it. Malami also said that what if the northern governors ban spare parts selling? That is a subtle threat, and if Malami is thinking about such, southern governors should also stop those doing the change and those selling cattle in the south. Nobody has monopoly of intolerance. <laughs> And that is it. Well, the only thing, the bottom line is that uh, the man just ended up disgracing himself, embarrassing himself, thinking that uh, <laughs> he can double into uh, what he's not appointed to do. Malami is a useless and uh, uneducated and educated illiterate. He's even worse than a blockhead. Are you sure he's really educated? I've been a Quranic school he, he attended. Maybe... Aisha, I salute you for being upright. You've always stand for the truth, no matter who's us is God. I salute you once again. Remain blessed. Is a daft. May he finish from maybe he finish from one Islamic university. The challenge I have is one. I think the elites in the north will speak rationally. Is the same sentiment with the uh, Talakawas. What a country. Hmm. Well. Malami just uh, reminded us that uh, he's simply Attorney General of the North. i sorry for him. His law degree should be questioned. Thank you, Aisha, and God bless you for standing by the, by the bitter truth always. The AGF Malami is very unprofessional in his delusional comparison. He's incompetent as an AGF who always wants to skill the law to favor the northern nigeria against the southern nigeria please let Lam malami and his northern leaders hear you well persons like malami can address southern governors the way he is doing because southern leaders have reduced themselves to second class citizens and housemates in nigeria if not who is this one to talk so carelessly to southern governors well great woman of source Thanks, great woman of women, Aisha, for saying that everybody knows that and people have been throwing all this left, right and center. You know, just like Abaribi said too, that why is it that people have not accused the Buri the change and they are all over everywhere in the country? There is no, there's no, there's no state that you cannot, you are not going to see a Buri the change a, 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 a people. And who are they? They are people from the north. Nobody has ever complained about the Mbano. Like, like, nobody has ever complained about it. So why is it that this is a decision? I don't know if, uh, uh, I don't know which tribe. Maybe they are, they are from the north too. Whether they are Fulanese or whatever. But they are from the north. 99% of those who are into that business, they are from the north. And 
since people up to today to tomorrow at least as we speak today nobody has ever come out to accuse them of anything they are doing their legitimate business they are doing their own thing they are not inconveniencing anybody they are not inconveniencing anybody at all so it's unfortunate that uh, people who are not qualified they are the ones at the end of affair ruling leading commanding the qualified the unqualified ones and that is why you see that nigeria is not moving it's not moving forward a lot of sentiments here and there a woman with wisdom will stand by the truth long life to you the government is taking the south for granted because they are in power and the stupid stupid and they stupidly collect vat from beer how can a right thinking man tell nigeria is a country may god bless this woman there's no difference in a way a child is giving birth to the same way a servant was born so the so the ap- apparent apparent northern nigeria is not in any greater than southern nigeria not should learn to respect southern results sister tell them the truth of life some people are thinking if one day they won't leave that office of power it serves the southern governor's right because they still believe in one nigeria it will not surprise me if agf agf uh, comes out tomorrow to say the southern governors have no right to meet for discussions of course one of them has come out to say that uh, they have a uh, they are they ought to have consulted full and new leaders that you cannot make <laughs> uh, what is that one professor he called himself calls himself professor yusuf you say you cannot make any decision you take on my behalf without me knowing it is not for me i don't know where he's quoting that from malami should be re-educated at a university in the south and make sure he really goes to school every day this agf is an illiterate to the core how did this man pass the nigeria bar association exam if at all he did pass because Fulani useless government makes education useless in Nigeria. I trust Easterners. We don't need to talk too much. Malami or whatever is referred to as utter garbage and at showcase his ineptitude before the law. The National Assembly should summon him immediately and he should be sacked without honor or benefits. Can imagine? Okay, you know. It's a notebook, very correct. Kudos to Aisha Yusufu. Good observation. Malami is a nama.